Hey guys, welcome to Throwback Thursday. This is Darren, and today we are going to talk about stray bullets. I read Stray Bullets when it came out in 1996, and there wasn't much else that um, I was reading on the stands. It was um, basically a lot of crap on the stands, and then this beautiful black and white um, noir masterpiece came onto the stands. Uh, the way to understand Stray Bullets is a lot of people go, a lot of people I've heard who I've recommended Stray Bullets to often go, well, I can't get into it. I mean, who are the main characters? And I'm like, well, there really aren't any main characters. I mean, there are a few people like Virginia Apple, Applejack, and uh, Spanish Scott, and there's all these, these characters. It's basically a noir universe that starts in like the uh, late 70s with, at a Star Wars premiere. And um, the great thing about it is it's like there are these sort of epic self-contained stories. So each issue that you read is a fully contained story. You don't have to have read anything else um, from Stray Bullets to get into it. But if you read it, you'll find that all the stories connect and it's this very large universe. And at that time in comics, I mean, I was reading like Starman from DC and Stray Bullets. And one of the amazing things about Stray Bullets is um, he's a really great artist because he's able to um, constrain the art within like usually like he would do nine panel grids or six panel grids and so he would have to make all the action take place in a very contained way and in sequential people who love sequential art like myself people who love comic books and love um, what can be done with the medium I'm I'm in love with somebody who can can take um can take a sort of constraint put upon them and excel from it. So Stray Bullets ran for a number of years and then um, Dave Lapham just stopped and then started doing a lot of other stuff. And um, I have to admit, I read, I read the other stuff, didn't get into it as much, but um, just literally uh, about a year and a half ago, he came back to Stray Bullets and resumed it. So now it's at about the 50 issue mark. Uh, I can't recommend this series uh, highly enough for fans of crime, for fans of noir, for fans of touching stories about what it means to be human. Stray Bullets is that book. And if you were a fan of um, Deadly Class, I know Travis uh, did some uh, arc reactions relating to it uh, a while back, so you can check out that. But this book, Deadly Class, really reminded me of Stray Bullets. And if you loved Deadly Class, like, like I love Deadly Class, Stray Bullets is the book to pick up next. It's the book to give a chance to because it's a book that keeps on giving even years after you first read it. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you.